Hey guys, this is Questmaster, and this is going to be a re-uploaded version of my pest control video. In the last one, I uh, forgot a couple things, and the voice was really, really messed up. Alright, so I'm going to start off uh, by showing you how to get there. It's uh, located in Port Sarum, which is right next to Draenor Village, so you could just uh, do a glory tally right here, run northwest, and down into Port Sarum, or you could uh, teleport from Falador and walk all the way down okay so to start off the game you're gonna have to right click on this guy his name's squire and say travel and so he's gonna bring you all the way down here to uh... void knight outpost and then once you're there you just cross gangplank and there's three boats in pest control and there are three different difficulties. There's novice, intermediate, and veteran. The novice boat is right here, and you have to be a minimum combat of 40 to get on. And every time you win a game, you can get two pest control points. The intermediate is right here, and you need to be level 70. The monsters are a little harder, but you're going to get three points for every game you win. The veteran is the last one, and you need to be 100 combat to get on, but uh, you get four points for every uh, every game you win. So, I'm going to go over to uh, the uh, novice boat, because it's just a little shorter than all the other ones. Games are like two minutes long, because I'm on uh, World 144, which is the pest control world. So, I'm just going to run over here to the novice boat. The game should start in like five seconds once I get on there. So, I'm going to cross gangplank. Okay, game should start in like any second. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's two main things that you can do in pest control. If you're a lower combat, you can come up here to the middle where the Void Knight is, and you can defend him from monsters that are coming in, like, see the shifter right here? And everybody's going to start attacking him. And your objective in the game is to defend the Void Knight until everybody else on your team destroys the portals. So, right here is his health. And as you can see, these guys are doing a pretty good job of defending him. So, uh, the other thing you can do is go attack portals, which uh, is what I prefer to do. But before I go there, I'm going to show, for all you people who like to range or like to mage, there's these two towers, or actually four towers, that overlook all the gates. And if you had a bow or something, you could put on long range, and you could attack people, I think it's up to like maybe here. Uh, I don't think you can attack the portal from up here, but you can all you can attack all the monsters. So, I'm going to go back down, and I'm going to go attack some monsters, because you need at least, I think, like, 80 damage done in the game to get any points. And so, I'm just going to get some hit points up. And then, the blue eastern portal shield has dropped. So, right up here, the eastern portal, everybody's attacking that right now. So I'm going to run over to the southwestern, where everybody isn't right now, until the shield drops. And then I can be one of the first people over there to attack it. I'm going to attack this guy right here. And the reason I attack portals is because when you attack, when you attack a portal, you get normal XP. But when you attack a monster, like if I were to attack uh, the shifter right here, I would only get half the normal XP that you would. Alright, so you see this guy right here? It says, shift, it says uh, spinner. He's like a healer for the portal, and so I'm going to attack him, because if that portal doesn't get destroyed, this guy's going to die up here. So, you attack him and take him out, and then you can easily take out the portal. So, I'm just going to finish this game up. There's only one portal left. Uh, we're obviously going to win this game, because this guy has 193 left, and we just won. Okay. You now have 60 Void Knight Commendation points. Uh, I, I received two from that game. And over here, like over here, and there's like three or four uh, Void Knights. And you can exchange your points with them for uh, different rewards. So right here, Exchange Void Knight, you click on that. And the first thing that you can do is uh, spend your points on experience. And it says uh, ranged, 320 experience. That's 320 experience for every point you every point you spend. So if I were to spend 10 points, I get 
3,200 experience and range. But if you t spend 10 points, it gives an extra 1% XP for every point. And if you spend 100, you get an extra 10% XP on what you bought. The next thing to buy are some herbs, some minerals, some seeds. And right here are what most people come to uh, pest control for, and that's the uh, Void Knight outfit. And the Void Knight outfit consists of a robe top, a robe bottom, gloves, and uh, one of the three helmets. Uh, that's the Ranger helm, the Mage helm, and the Melee helm. A lot of people are going to say you don't need the gloves for the whole outfit, but in fact you do need the gloves or else you won't get the bonus. Um, the Ranger helm, when you have the full outfit on with the Ranger helm, you'll get a 10% range bonus. So if you were 80 range, you'd be like having 88 range all the time. If you had the Mage Helm on them, it, you would get a 30% Mage bonus whenever you're wearing the full outfit. And if you had the Melee Helm on, you get a 10% attack bonus whenever you were wearing the full outfit. So, if you're just going to get one full Void outfit, it would take about 850 points. So that's about 425 games. And that may seem like a lot, but if you spread that o out over a week, that's about two hours of playing pest control a day, which really isn't a lot. But if you're like most people and you want to get all three helms, that's an extra 200 games that you're going to have to play, so an extra couple days of pest control. Well, that's just about it, guys. Um, I hope this guide helped you out. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.